This video is brought to you by Kennel Grim and Grin's own Screams from the Crypt. 20 tales of horror, sci-fi, and suspense. Available now. Hello, I'm Grim Grindle. I hope you and yours are all doing well, and welcome back to Build Request, which, technically, this one didn't actually start off as a build request, but then over time did become one. You see, to begin with, the crux of this video initiated when the Discord user currently going by the name of Renzo Puff posted on the Channel Grim and Grin Discord, the Echo Chamber, a screenshot of his own version of this vehicle asking the Discord for any pointers on improving it. And while at first I did just post some pointers in text form, in the back of my mind, churning throughout the day, was the thoughts of how I would approach the vehicle if I had built it. And so then I eventually decided I should have a crack at it. However, fortunately, entirely separate to this, in the YouTube comments, Mr. Classy Tutor requested the exact same vehicle, and so I'm still going to count it as a build request. And so today, we're taking a swing at the De Havilland Vampire, which is a modern military jet, and so as always, whenever I'm doing these military vehicles, fair disclaimer, I really don't know anything about modern military vehicles, and so it's all rather new to me, so forgive any missubtleties. Oh, and before any of you go to the keyboard and go, but Grim, 1940s isn't modern, do bear in mind that my area of study was mainly classical history, and so while the 1940s might seem like a long time ago, it is still several thousand years too recent for my area of expertise. And while I'm building this, it should be noted that while I didn't, as I had initially planned to, directly copy the design Renzo Puff posted on the Discord and then simply further adjust it, I did take a good long look at the pictures he posted, and so the influence of Renzo Puff's design on mine should certainly not go uncredited, and it should certainly not go underplayed. But with all of that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the actual design process. Well, to be honest, the problems I ran into while building the Haviland Vampire are not exactly unique, as they have been in fact reflected in every single modern aircraft I've built. That is to say that replicating de Havilland Vampire runs into the same problem most realistic aeronautical builds have, in that their streamlined aerodynamic nature is difficult to adequately or accurately represent in the uniform blockiness that is the nuts and bolts medium. There is, for instance, a subtle flattening from the cockpit to the fuselage to the wings on de Havilland Vampire that simply cannot be replicated, and so we either wind up with elevation too dramatic or too limited. I ended up opting for a more restrained approach, and as such, I do feel my final build is slightly too flattened in appearance, but even so, I do think it's better than the alternative, as when you do look at images of de Havilland Vampire, it definitely doesn't scream blocky. There was a tremendous back and forth in the building of this vehicle, as it was really quite difficult to get the look down to pat, and there were even instances where I got the vehicle looking extremely cool, and then realized that as cool as it looks, it wasn't looking like a de Havilland vampire, and so I had to remove a lot of what I had done in order to stick closer to the actual source material. This is a replica vehicle after all, and so it better look like what I'm trying to replicate. And in the end, the final result looks okay, sort of. I think the silhouette of the vehicle is pretty bang on, but unfortunately I do feel I did fail to get any of the finer details really down to a stage of perfection. But on the other hand, I think that's what I've said about every other modern aeronautical vehicle I've built, so at least I'm rather consistent. And so there you have it, a de Havilland vampire, sort of, in Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts. What's going to follow now is the layer by layer of it, so if you want to copy it into your own save and make some improvements, do feel free to do so. And if you're watching this and thinking, but Grim, your design's total garbage, Renzo Puffs looked way better. Well, fortunately for you, they've also been kind enough to post a layer by layer of their design on the Channel Grim and Grim Discord, the Echo Chamber, so if you would rather that version, that option is also available to you. Links to the Discord and social media are in the description below, and with that, stay healthy and safe. Thanks for watching, I have been and still am Grim Grindle. <laughs>
of horror, sci-fi, and suspense. Available now.